Hi there, welcome back. Today we're going to do episode number 18. I say today, um, this is the second one I've done tonight. Uh, yeah, I did 17 about half an hour ago and I'm going to do 18 now. Um, yeah, it was really good 17. It was one of the best episodes for me. Really good. And they kind of got some information about the Ascension, although did they get like detailed information? I'm not sure. They let Faith get away and she's back with the mayor in a pad that he's sort of given her. Yeah, so yeah. We'll see how this one goes. I'm trying to think, is there anything from that last one to kind of um, think about for this one? But not really, um, apart from what I just said. So yeah, let's get to it. This feels like a dream if Buffy's running. Oh, or maybe not. Oh, they take many different forms, these demons. I mean, they all look kind of similar, don't they? Apart from the mayor. Oh. Their blood. Oh no. It's like predator blood. It hasn't seeped into her, has it? Oh, that was a short first bit. It looked like it seeped into her skin. Oh no. Don't tell me it's going to do something to her. We just had an episode recently where she lost her powers. Hopefully it's nothing like that. That must have been significant, right? It seeped in, right? It didn't just drip off. I think so. Okay. Well, she's not. <laughs> I'm going to see a demon Buffy, are we, for this episode? I don't like this whole no mouth thing. It's disquieting. Well, no mouth means no teeth. Unless they have them somewhere else. <laughs> oh, there are us. The uh, mayor's forthcoming ascension. It's pretty riveting stuff. What do we know? <laughs> what don't we know? Tell it, Jazz. <laughs> Sandra hasn't got a clue. It's not the ritual flaying of the demon Azareth, nor the... Um... I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of an anticlimax. <laughs> For the first time Charles has admitted that. Oh, she's itching where it's on her skin. Wesley. Terribly sorry, I was detained. Why did he walk up like that? I was just filling Buffy in on my progress regarding the research of uh, Ascension. Oh, and what took up the rest of the minute? Touche. Well, what have you done, Wesley? Of course, my work is unofficial. Yeah. The resources of the council at your disposal. Yeah. You will have something to add. Let's hear it. I am pleased to state, with certainty, that the demon Azeroth will not in any way be. <laughs> Sitting him bad, even pretend bad, in what faith. He only kissed her for the greater good. So that was just a memory of how he was as Ange Angelus that freaked her out. Logan okay. Martin thinks he's so hot. Like we should all be awed by him because he can put a ball in a net. Hey, Santa. He said my name. <laughs> can we do a fifth period? Okay. Did you finish? Oh, the that's the most of it. Jock, she's helping. Percy. I'll finish it at lunch. <laughs> that's my little trooper. Yeah, she's got him under a, a farm now. Ooh, is it swelled? Swelling. Oh, has he found something? In, question? in the disgusting flesh. Hmm. In fact. <sighs> oh, um, in, in fact, the host with an aspect of the demon. Yeah. That's what it says. Oh, an aspect dear. of the demon? You're going to grow some horns. Like a part of it? New fabric softener can cause irritation. Well, that's what it is. I hope it's not the outside part. <laughs> is she going to develop a demon hand, a hoof or something? Oh, it could be an internal, right? She could start thinking like a demon or something. It's really lame. I don't know. I usually enjoy lameness and this is leaving me kind of cold. <laughs> Pepperelli is a place for pseudo prostitutes to provoke men into a sexual frenzy, which, when thwarted, results in pointless athletic competition. Huh? I'm going to put it. The paper is edging on depressing lately. Right? I don't know, I always go straight to the obits. <laughs> and there must be a lot in Sunnydale, right? In the Sunnydale school. I don't even think Giles is right about you becoming like a demon. Between you and me, he's not doing his best work. Having said that, keep your distance, Buffy. It could be claws or scales. <laughs> What? Was it a boy demon? No. <laughs> I don't think you're going to grow one of them. The demons have that. I guess so. Can they breed? He's no better looking than the rest of them. None of them are really mine. Oh my god, he's looking at her. He's got his filthy adult <laughs> Brosny eyes all over my Cordy. Fears Brosny eyes. Oh my god. There's a 90s reference. Not just the way I look. All of a sudden, I, I could be something that's not me anymore. A bit like Angel, right? Yeah, and I have to show support. He's needy. 
But but I heard what you were He's saying, needy. really. <laughs> and, and I would be frightened too, but I'm sure you're gonna be okay. Yeah, I'm not so sure. <laughs> Just checking. Still got a mouth. <laughs> yeah. I touched one of them, and now I'm gonna get a big case of the bumpies or a tail or something. The bumpies. Aspect of the demon. Sometimes demons they just exaggerate their power. Could this? Could they risk the soul thing if she's a de like half the human for a bit? Maybe, maybe it won't work. They could do it. Just to be clear. <laughs> no matter what, I'll always be with you. I love you. Aww. Even if you're covered with slime. <laughs> When he said you always be my girl in that last episode. Three points for the win. Mm, it's intense. Yeah, for a minute there, I thought you were going to make an expression. Well, I felt one coming on, I won't lie. He's a bit deadpan, isn't he? I still have knee marks on my back. From the pyramid? <laughs> God, Xander's got it bad, hasn't he? Really bugs you, huh? What? Cordelia and Wesley smooching. Man, you read my Bugs me. Way too old for. I don't know how, how old he is, but. but. Sorry, I talked over that. Oh my god. What did you say? Oh, whoa there. You watch where you're going now. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Beach. I will. Students. If we could just get rid of all the students. When I'm a software billionaire. And you're all flipping burgers. Oh. Maybe I'll take French, I said. You can hear everyone's thoughts. So he didn't say anything. He, she heard his thoughts. Idiot. What were his thoughts, Sander? Does he have any? Oh, can demons do that? Buffy's so beautiful. Oh, wow. I mean, oh, look at that body. God. <laughs> I'm to against that locker right now. Lapping up. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. It wouldn't be nice, would it? Is this the thing? Especially being the a girl. You don't want to hear what's going on in guys' heads. <laughs> Not mine. Other guys. Oh, what's she going to hear? Giles thinking. You're most likely projecting your... Clear your mind, Giles. Ago, you thought, look at her shoes. If a fashion magazine told her to, she'd wear cats strapped to her feet. I am... Um... The demons are telepathic. <laughs> I should have known. That's why they don't need mouths. Of course. Right. Demons are telepathic. I know. Oh, you just he didn't say me. that. <laughs> That's why they don't need mouths. And you should have known. Uh, oh. oh no! Principal Snyder has walked like an Egyptian stuck in his head. What? I mean, it could be very useful. He could uh, anticipate your opponent's every move. You could uh, turn his plans against him. Oh, way better than that. Jealousy. Right. Oh, she's cheating. <laughs> Jealousy <laughs> is the tool oh, that Iago she read her uses. Mind. When did she study? Was I supposed to study? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Stay away from Santa. I was gonna say Cassio. I hate her. Wow. Look at them like scrambling for the teacher's praise like pigeons for old bread crusts. It's Freddie Iverson. He writes those editorials for the school paper. He's so dumb. Motives are spurious. <laughs> it's like using words you've never used before, Buffy. The dark half of Othello himself. I said something quite like that in my dissertation. I know. I, <gasps> I mean. I agree. Ooh, she's gonna get to oh, sorry. find out what's in his heart, sorry, what's in his head. Oh, this is this is wrong. Not saying I wouldn't do it myself, but it's wrong. It's a breach of trust. You know, not that she was so bad to have around. You know, before the evil. <laughs> There's no thoughts. Oh, it's it's because he's a well, no. The thing about fate. He can't get into my mind. How does he know? Oh, she, Why not? can he get into her mind? It's like the mirror. The thoughts are there, but they create no reflection in you. How I felt kissing her, pretending to have no soul, watching you suffer. Well, since you bring it up. I hated hurting you. More than I could stand. How much more does he need to prove to you, Buffy? Faith, you know, she has that whole bad girl thing working for her. Kissing her meant nothing. I, I don't want a bad girl. I've lived a long time, Buffy. And I'm past that. Yeah, you would get over that after centuries, wouldn't you? In 243 years, I've loved exactly one person. Wow. Oh, it is me, right? <laughs> Next time, just ask. Hmm? Be careful with this gift. They can be painful. Hmm. Like, say, immortality. 
any. You don't want to know exactly. the truth. I'm dying to get rid of that. Why does he get rid of that? I'm a funny guy. <laughs> she can read our minds, our every impulse and fantasy. Everyone? Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't see what this has to do with me. I don't see what this has to do with me. <laughs> I think it's great. She's hardly even human anymore. How can I be your friend now? She doesn't need me. Oh, poor Willow. I am my thoughts. If they exist in her, Buffy contains everything that is me, and she becomes me. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I think about sex. That was excellent. Sex. Help. Four times five is thirty. Five times six is thirty-two. Naked girls. Naked women. Naked Buffy. Oh, stop me. God, Xander, is that all you think about? Yeah, yeah. Actually, bye. <laughs> no, don't look at Cordelia. She's a student. Oh, right. So bad. at least he he knows the I'm a bad, bad the boundaries here. Oh god. Excuse me. <laughs> like Buffy. Buffy is all of us. We think, <laughs> therefore she is. <laughs> this is a philosopher. Writing that book, winning friends through telepathy. Whatever. I wonder when I can go. Whatever. Can I go? <laughs> she says exactly what she thinks. Is that's it, isn't it? There is a flaw in this though, because people are thinking all the time, but yet she's only hearing one at a time. She'd be hearing everyone, wouldn't, they, wouldn't she? Or does she have to channel it somehow? No, because she's not channeling it now, is she? I mean, obviously they can't overlap all the voices, because you know it's a flaw that it doesn't count because it's a TV show, obviously. I'm not criticizing, I'm just saying. It's just an observation. Power. You can't shut it off. I was gonna say, how long does it last? Are you through with the mashed potatoes? She doesn't even know I'm here. Oh my God, She's hearing everyone now. It drive you mad, you just you couldn't live like this. I'll kill you all. Ooh. Who was that? Is that the editor guy? Something up with him. He's a potential mass shooter. Oh, she's trying to find him. <laughs> Bless him. I bet it was that um, newspaper editor. We passed out over it. <laughs> God, I can't shut this off. There's a killer in the cafeteria. See, I've been saying for years that the lunch lady's gonna do us all in with that mulligan stew. Xander, <laughs> I mean, what the hell's a mulligan? I have to find them. Are you sure they meant it? Yeah, I mean, who hasn't just idly thought about taking out the whole place with a semi-automatic? Oh, Jesus, Xander, really? I said idly. <laughs> I know the difference. I'm not getting any more. I bet it was Helga. Who could it be? Shut up! Self-centered, so uh, Cordelia, Jesus Christ. It's, it's hard for all of us. Yeah, it would be. Wesley and I are, are looking for a way to help. I'm still having trouble with the fact that one of us is just gonna gun everybody down for no reason. Yeah, because that never happened in American high schools. Oof. Even in the 90s, they were saying that. Columbine was like mid-90s, wasn't it? Or early 90s. Sad, isn't it? Nothing's changed. But worse, if anything. Mom, please, just come sit with me. Um, I I've, uh... What's Joyce gonna be thinking? I got laundry. You had sex with Giles? You had sex with Giles? Wait, what? Candy, we were teenagers. They, they did it. Police car? I'll be downstairs. <gasps> I didn't know they did it. I thought they were just kissing them. Twice? Twice. <laughs> no wonder it's so awkward between them. Oh my god. Giles. Good work. Talk to everyone on your list and, and use the sample question. Today, people. Assertive Willow's back. We all have fantasies when we're. Oh, powerful, she's interrogating him. <laughs> and respected. Maybe. Bless him. It's the first person she thought of, probably. She tried to accuse him before, didn't she? And it wasn't him. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? <laughs> no, again. Mm, you want me to pay attention? <laughs> Bless him. Sure. Do you ever feel that you've created a false persona for yourself, the guy who does everything right? Very unlikely to be a jock, right? They've got it all, haven't they, really? Moderate strength. They're not going to be hating the world. Is that a good answer? I want to get this right. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> All but the brains, generally. I was just wondering, were you planning on killing a bunch of people tomorrow? Oh, God. Oh, it's for the yearbook. <laughs> now, your idea of the perfect romantic evening. Oh, Xander, really? It's definitely going to be this guy, isn't it? The editor. 
he's the only person they've really shown as a, a, a new character really in the episode so it's got to be him right he's under the desk huh? this would be the worst thing wouldn't it thinking about it It'd be the worst i was gonna say why doesn't she go to the well try and get to the mayor to see what he's thinking but she can't right faith you could do it with faith it still requires the heart of the second even which we have no idea how to get without the slayer classmates are spying on me or otherwise acting suspiciously why didn't buffy tell them it is a male voice cut their work in half what oh uh, larry i'm just saying it's got to be frustrating no but... having the secret yeah being in the closet what secret being gay oh Man. he's fully out is he i'm out <laughs> i'm so out i've got my grandma fixing me up with guys <laughs> that's um nice <laughs> look just oh, he still thinks he's gay. That weird Freddie Iverson guy that does the school paper. Oh, no, who came up? No, dude. But I bet oh. he put in like a coming out announcement for you. <laughs> Something tasteful. <laughs> he's the only one we couldn't find. Oh, okay. So he's hiding from the interrogation. I wonder why he's under that desk. She can't pick one thought out of the yeah, he is driving her insane. Good day, wouldn't it? She has a drink. Is it the blood? Looks like it. Hopefully this reverses it, otherwise the, he's just made her a lot worse. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what have you done, Angel? She's having like a fit. Oh no, he's not here with his weapon, is he? Ready to fire. Oh, it's not the... Wait, is that... That's not the editor guy, is it? Oh, who is that? Wait. What's that, the cupcake guy? I can't tell. <laughs> My face of recognition is so bad. I'm sorry. Did you find the killer? Yeah, it wasn't him, right? What are your friends going to do? Hold What's the cupcake guy? You better believe it, Buster. Dingoes ate my baby, played their instruments as if they had plump Polish sausages taped to their fingers. Oh, that was his band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. That's why he's hiding. No, it's fair. Oh, okay. That's fair. We have no shot. The killer could be anyone. We lose. Willow, you failed in your job if it was Cupcake Guy. Buffy! You're okay. Can you hear thoughts? Just when I wasn't thinking about sex. <laughs> For the first time in his life. And that although death is never easy, it's the only way. Did you get this from? God! Doesn't anyone write in to praise the cheerleaders? Cordelia! <laughs> did you take in any of that? Slippery Jonathan, weasel. right? Split up. Find him. Wait, where did they get that from? It was just left on the desk. Dude, think this through, mate. So he was having, she heard lonely thoughts, right? And no one likes me or whatever. I mean, she heard him say, boy, he's going to end everyone as well, didn't she? Of course. Why did she, <laughs> she's got facial recognition like mine. She's as bad as me. We clocked him. Get up there. Use your slayer speed and strength. Wow. <laughs> In full view of the whole school. <laughs> oh my god. I could have done that. Oh yeah. <laughs> she beats you to it every time. Snyder's gonna have her in the gymnastics team if she's not careful. If the school's got one. Get away from me. Jonathan. Hey Jonathan, you wanna point that somewhere else? You think I just want attention? No, I think you're up in the clock tower with a high powered rifle because you wanna blend in. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Believe it or not, Jonathan. They want that, don't they? Understand about the pain. Because the burden of being beautiful and athletic, that's a crippler. Life's not fair, dude. That's how it is. You gotta just suck it up. He knows how to handle a weapon. I, I wouldn't ever hurt anybody. I came up here to kill myself. Oh, so he. Wait. So the edit. Wait, is the editor actually the. Person's gonna kill everyone. Oh my god! She's poison. <laughs> he was right. Oh my god. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, she's going out with a knife. A oh fucking hell. Let's chop his head off. Calm down. Meat cleaver. Furman. You're all Furman. Phil. What the fuck? <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs>
No one listens to him, do they? I mean, he was joking, right? But that was hilarious. Never saw that coming. Then he ripped out the heart of a demon and fed it to me, and, and then we talked some more. Oh, okay. It was a heart. The demon heart. He's starting to get that look. You know, like he's gonna ask me to prom. <laughs> God. Well, it'd probably be good for his self-esteem if, if you... Um... Oh, come on. What am I saying, Buffy? He's like three feet tall. <laughs> oh, my God. We can work it after school. You know, if you're not too busy having sex with my mother. <gasps> That was such a good ending, oh my god. Oh my god, this show, these last two episodes have been, they've been the best actually for me. In a, they've been great, let's just say that. They, they've thrown in things that you never saw coming, right? That's what they've done. They've completely thrown you off the scent and then they've revealed it and They've been really funny with it as well. Really, really, really funny. I love that ending as much as. Oh, God. Yeah, that was excellent, that one. That was really good. I'm trying to think. Was it better than the last one? It was as good. I think it was as good. And maybe I like the last one more just because of the... It was a bigger reveal. Even though this was a big reveal as well. I never saw that coming. Let me know if you did. It's kind of a tough one to see that one coming though, right? But I like it. I like the way they just threw in that jokey line and then that was it. That line was it, right? I'm glad I didn't talk over that line actually because sometimes I, I do that <laughs> and I would have been so confused had I not heard that. Yeah, that was really, really good. Really, really good. I was thinking, you know, when they're having that conversation in this hour, part of the doing a reaction is kind of prepping in your mind what you're going to say, not only in that moment or a bit further down the line, but also in the outro. And that's what I was doing during that scene in the tower. I was thinking I'm going to have to um, talk about mass shootings, right? And yeah, it's, my mind was going with that. And yeah, I won't do that now because yeah, I mean, I still could, but I don't want to, I don't want to bring it down. I don't want to bring the toe down now. I have some thoughts about that, but no one wants to hear them probably. So I'll spare you. Um, yeah, really good. Just really, really good. Never saw it coming. Not in a million yet. That, Three red herring. Well, no, two red herrings. I personally thought it was him, and I'm sure other people did, right? That's why he he was in it. He was a prominent thing, a character in it. Well, only for one scene really before he started hiding and stuff. But yeah, when he was hiding, I was throwing throwing you off the scent as well. It's revealed it's not him, and then of course they divert you to um Jonathan, and it's not him. I was kind of thinking, no, I don't think it couldn't can be him when it was revealed. Well, when we thought it was revealed, it was him. I was thinking, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure he's that. Because that's what I was going to talk about. Because the way he was talking, it was about self-pity, right? But that's also a thing that happens with mass shooters. I said I wasn't going to talk about this, but quickly. That's also a thing with mass shooters, right? They pity themselves, of course, and their life. It's hurting him and he can't take it and he can't bear it anymore. But it wasn't a re it wasn't about revenge for him, that's what I'm trying to say. It, when you see these videos, I mean, they're harrowing, aren't they, to watch? But I'm sure everyone's seen at least one of those videos where someone's gone on a mass shooting, they've recorded themselves and their manifesto or whatever they fucking call it. Yeah, it's normally about revenge, isn't it? Uh, yeah, and they want to wipe out humanity, basically. Yeah, and that's that's generally what it is, right? I, I don't think I've seen, apart from the ones that don't leave any evidence, like don't don't leave any like letter or a video or anything, you never know what their motives were really, but I'm sure they're probably similar. But I think generally it's, I hate the world. The world's done me bad. I'm going to do everyone else bad. And I think that's what it is generally, right? When people do that kind of thing. So yeah, he wasn't giving me that vibe during what I'm trying to say during that conversation. He wasn't giving me that vibe at all. So I was thinking, oh, I, don't know, I don't know if it's I wasn't thinking it's not him. I was, I was still thinking it was him until it, re it was revealed it, it wasn't. But I was thinking that I'm not sure his character and the way he's behaving is, is correct. You know, I don't think that's the mindset of someone who's going to do that right that's not what they're about but um yeah i'm sure i mean i don't need to tell everyone that i'm sure everyone knows they've seen everyone's seen those videos right we know what those lunatics are like yeah i really enjoyed it very very good again it's going to be a nine at least i'm going to give it i'm going to give it a. Oh, I don't know if it was i, I think i think the reveal of the last one was better this reveal was funnier but the other one was better, I think. I think the other, I think the other one's better. 
So for that reason, I'm going to give this a 9.25. I want to give it a 9.5 like the other one, but they're very close, those two episodes I've done tonight, by the way. <laughs> if you're watching this a week later or two weeks later on YouTube, I think I'm going to upload two every two weeks now. I mean, you'll know by now probably if you watch my reactions that I'm doing that because I just don't have time um, to do all the editing. I just Lately, I'm just absolutely rushed off my feet. So yeah, um, for the time being, at least, I'm going to do two per week. Uh, two per week? <laughs> one every two weeks jesus i can't do two per i can't even do one per week yeah so one every two weeks one every fortnight so yeah hopefully you'll join me for the next one which will be episode i think it's 19 yeah episode number 19 i think oh i can't check now but i think there's 22 again have i got that right i think so yeah anyway hopefully you'll join me for it see you then see ya bye